a pleasure to meet y'all at last. And this right here is, you guessed it, another pistol. But as it turns out, I am in fact starting to get some more requests for blasters that are not this type. So of course you can expect the pistol related action to end soon as I'll be focusing more on others including AR related or sniper related or shotgun related blasters of all sorts. But until that happens, this is a quadruple barreled revolver type pistol because after all, it's got itself hammer action. This is the Doomlands Persuader. And yeah, I just buckshotted that one. But only because my Persuader itself, it doesn't have great, well, air restricting things out there. But of course, the Smart AR system itself is in fact one of the main things that I might want to talk about this when it comes to the encompassing of different pistol related blasters. And there are a lot of other blasters in general that have the Smart AR technology equipped within them to detect which darts are inside the barrels and which ones are not. But this double quadruple barrel blaster itself, the Persuader, does owe a lot more than just that in general. But of course, it does itself have some hammer action itself, which is much like the hammer shots hammer action itself. But the hammer action on this one in particular isn't necessarily as grooved or as ergonomically decent as many of the other ones that we've been getting in more recent times. So, in general, the hammer action on this one itself isn't necessarily the best that I might have ever encountered, but let's just be glad that this is not the only hammer-related blaster out there that comes pre-2017. Because we've been getting quite a few new hammer action blasters out there after 2017. By my own counts here today, in fall of 2020, there's been at least 10 different entries out there, including the hammer shot, the four victory from the Rebel lineup, and this one, plus a few others here and there. But the Persuader in general, I do kind of like for the fact that, well, aside from its quadruple barrel sort of design put into it, it does in fact really allow for four darts to be put in at once, and also the single tactical rail on the top, I could just put a little dart storage thing on top of here. And not to mention this foregrip, it doesn't really add too much to it. It kind of makes it look like a shotgun without the stock or without the barrel. Like a super duper really small sawed off shoddy in a way. But in general this quadruple barrel really does owe a lot for many people out there who are just looking forward to having a hammer action blaster out there with a sort of shotgun kind of appearance to it. Because it does in fact appear in many ways to a Mossberg 500 with double the barrel. So that's four in total. But in general, I would just like to imply really quickly that, well, let's just test out the invisible. It's real quick. Now I'm going to try more than one of them this time. And here we go. And that's three, pretty much. So you're getting yourself a little more than what you bargain for when it comes to this review itself. But I would just like to say one last thing itself. This thing right here. This is a pretty innovative part of any Nerf blaster that I might have ever seen right here. You can in fact look at the internals on the inside of the blaster while you're using it. I could say for sure that this is a pretty unique idea itself. And as a matter of fact, just about every Doomlands blaster out there that we have today has this feature in it to where it has transparent class plastic itself and of course you're able to see the internals including the springs, the barrels, the plunger tubes, the AR system and a lot more. Every blaster in the Doomlands lineup that I've ever had so far has that kind of feature on it on one side though so that's kind of what makes it a little disappointing at first but in general Kind of like with the Rivals Mercury, this blaster itself gives us a little insight as to what happens on the inside. But of course, not every blaster out there happens to utilize this kind of technology within it. So in general, the Doomlands Blaster is one of the only leading examples of how you can in fact look at what's inside the blaster and not just what's on the outside. So to summarize, four barrels, four times the amount of, well, 
dart storage that you can have in all the barrels itself. And of course the single tactical rail means a lot of possibilities. And it's hammer action and it's little foregrip give it the sort of feel of a sawed off shotgun in a way because there are sawed off shotguns out there that do have hammer action put onto them. Especially older ones in general. But of course, other than all that, the Persuader does have itself a pretty good ranking based on my personal ratings of all Nerf Blasters that I got. This blaster in general gets a nice 7.7 .7 out of 10. So it's slightly below the Mercury, way, way better than that of the Taroth or the Ion Fire itself. But guess what? Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna have a lot more than just the pistols coming about here on Aftersod. So until then, please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side if you're wanting to see more.